Hello everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. If you're new to my channel, thanks for watching. A favor in two seconds. Please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it is the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. If you're watching on Facebook, thank you very much. Please hit the like button for my page and also if you find this information valuable, please share with a friend. If you want to schedule me for an appointment, 15 minute consultation to see if how I could help you out, please hit the link down below and follow the instructions to my webpage in the upper right hand corner, book a consultation. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Juwan. In this short video, I'm going to talk about how the connection between your liver and your thyroid gland play a big part on how your body is actually working with the thyroid hormone producing your thyroid gland. Now, when I'm talking with patients with, who have hypothyroid, I always want to do an extensive thyroid panel because 80% of the hypothyroid cases that I come in contact with, they end up having Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease which is attacking your thyroid gland. So this is why a full thyroid panel is very, very important. Now, there is a connection between hypothyroid and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, you get a fatty liver due to diet, excessive amount of carbohydrates, and fats. So the liver gets boggy. Now, how the thyroid gland works with the liver, the thyroid gland, a butterfly-shaped gland in, in your neck, in the base of your neck, produces two hormones, T4 and T3. And about 93% of T4 is inactive. So 7% of the T3 is active in your thyroid gland that's produced. It travels throughout the bloodstream and it gets converted. 60% of the inactive T4 gets converted to active T3 through the liver pathway. Okay, the conversion of inactive T4 to active T3 gets converted in the liver pathway. So this is why liver health is very, very important. So if you have a boggy liver due to diet, stress, fatty foods, excessive amount of carbohydrates, this is where the conversion is not happening. And when you're doing blood work, blood labs, if you have, anytime you have elevated liver enzymes, it's going to affect the thyroid hormone. So it's going to affect that TSH level. It will be increased because the circulating thyroid hormone is not being converted and it's not being utilized. So the main goal that you always want to focus on is detoxing the liver. Now, the main goal is liver health. And first and foremost, diet. Diet is key. Now, either you do the Mediterranean diet, ketogenic diet, or any type of diet, but the main focus of the diet is to lower the carbohydrates, increase the vegetables, and increase the good fatty acids. Because you want that, you want to clean up that liver pathway. Also, vitamins. Vitamin D and zinc okay, are phenomenal antioxidants that will help clean up the liver pathway as well. Choline. Choline is phenomenal for your brain health. It's good for liver detox. Choline is found abundantly in eggs. Next, selenium. Selenium is key because not only is it a precursor for, uh, for thyroid hormone, but also it acts as a powerful antioxidant. Now, when we are, you, when we have, th when we're having thyroid issues, what happens is that we're having to build up what's called hydrogen peroxide. A buildup of hydrogen peroxide is detrimental to the, th to the thyroid. So one of the functions of selenium is to actually be an antioxidant and actually reduce that. Also, selenium is a precursor for, glu for glutathione, which comes to the next one. Glutathione is a powerful amino acid. We produce it in our liver naturally. However, it's hindered due to poor health. So as a supplement of glutathione will help the liver, will increase, again, the liver health and increase the conversion from T4 to T3. And also milk thistle. Yeah, glutathione is a phenomenal amino acid for liver detoxification, but also the herb milk thistle. Milk thistle is phenomenal as a natural herb that also helps clean out the liver pathway. So again, you're going to clean the liver in two, men, in two ways. So the goal is to detox the liver. Again, if you have fatty liver, or again, if you have hypothyroid, the main, again, I just want to talk about the main connection between the thyroid and the liver, and this is why I always want to focus on liver health when I'm dealing, when I'm helping out thyroid patients. All right, so I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. Again, if you want to schedule me for a free consultation for 15 minutes, please follow the link down below. 
If you found this information valuable, please share with a friend. Thanks for watching. Take care.